Our objectives for this lesson are the following. Determine the inverse of one-to-one -one function and discuss the properties of the inverse of one-to-one -one function. So let us define inverse function. The inverse function undo what the function does. And remember, only one-to-one -one function has an inverse. Let f be a one-to-one -one function. Its inverse is denoted by this symbol, read as f inverse. A function f has an inverse if, for every y in its range, there is only one value of x in its domain. In symbols, f inverse of y is equal to x, for which f of x is equal to y. Here are the steps in finding the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. Step 1. Replace f of x with y. Step 2. Interchange x and y variables. Step 3. Solve for y in terms of x. And step 4, change y with f inverse of x. Let's have an example. Find the inverse of f of x equals 2x plus 1. Step 1 again, replace f of x with y. So we're going to replace f of x with y. So this will become y is equal to 2x plus 1. Step 2, Interchange x and y variables. So our y will become x and our x will become y. So this will become x equals 2y plus 1. Step 3. Solve for y in terms of x. To solve for y, let us move 1 to the other side. So this will become 2y is equal to x minus 1. And then we divide both sides by 2. This 2 will be cancelled out and we will be left with y is equal to x minus 1 over 2. And finally, let us replace y with f inverse of x. So f inverse of x is equal to x minus 1 all over 2. Let us have another one. Find the inverse of g of x equals x cubed minus 2 if it exists. Step 1, replace g of x with y. So y is equal to x cubed minus 2. Step 2, interchange x and y variables. y will become x and x will become y. So x is equal to y cubed minus 2. Step 3, solve for y in terms of x. To solve for y, let's move negative 2 to the other side. So it will become x plus 2 is equal to y cubed. And then let us extract the cube root of both sides. Cube root of y cubed is y. Then we simply have to copy this. So cube root of x plus 2 is equal to y. And finally, let us change y with g inverse of x. When we write our final answer, we write our g inverse of x on the left side. So g inverse of x is equal to cube root of x plus 2. Let us have another one. Find the inverse of p of x equals 5x plus 3 if it exists. Step 1. Replace p of x with y. So this will become y is equal to 5x plus 3. Step 2. Interchange x and y variables. So we have x is equal to 5y plus 3. Step 3. Solve for y in terms of x. To solve for y, let us move positive 3 to the other side. So this will become x minus 3 is equal to 5y. And then we divide both sides by 5. So 5 and 5 here will be cancelled out. So we have x minus 3 all over 5 is equal to y. And last step, let us change y with p inverse of x. Again, when we write p inverse of x, let's put it on the left side. So we have p inverse of x is equal to x minus 3 all over 5. Another one, find the inverse of q of x equals 4x over 5 if it exists. Again, step 1, let us replace q of x with y. So y is equal to 4x over 5. And then step 2, interchange x and y variables. So we have x is equal to 4y over 5. Step 3, solve for y in terms of x. To solve for y, let us apply cross multiplication. So we have x times 5, that is 5x equals 4y. And then we divide both sides by 4. So 4 and 4 here will be cancelled out. And we will be left with 5x over 4 is equal to y. And then we replace y with q inverse of x. So q inverse of x is equal to 5x over 4. Let us move to our second objective. Given a 1 to 1 function f of x and its inverse f inverse of x, the following holds true. Letter A, the inverse of f inverse of x is f of x. Letter B, 
f of f inverse of x is equal to x for all x in the domain of f inverse. And letter C, f inverse of f of x is equal to x for all x in the domain of f. Let us prove the first one. The inverse of f inverse of x is f of x. Let's have an example. f of x is equal to x plus 4. So let us recall the steps. First, let us replace f of x with y. So y is equal to x plus 4. Step 2, let us interchange x and y variables. So this will become x is equal to y plus 4. And then step 3, let us solve for y. So to solve for y, let us move 4 to the other side. So this will become y is equal to x minus 4. And then we replace y with f inverse of x. So f inverse of x is equal to x minus 4. Now we already have the inverse. What we are going to do next is to get the inverse of this. So the inverse of the inverse is f of x. So we are going to prove that when we get the inverse of our inverse, we will go back to the original function. So what is the inverse of f inverse of x? So let's start with our inverse x minus 4. Let's follow the steps. First one, let us replace f inverse of x with y. So y is equal to x minus 4. Step 2, let us interchange the x and y variables. So x is equal to y minus 4. Then step 3, let us solve for y. To solve for y, let us move negative 4 to the other side. So this will become y is equal to x plus 4. But what is x plus 4? x plus 4 is actually our f of x. So it means after getting the inverse of the inverse, we return to our original function. Therefore, the inverse of f inverse of x is equal to f of x. Let us prove letter B. f of f inverse of x is equal to x for all x in the domain of f inverse. So let us recall our f of x as well as its inverse. Now we have f of f inverse of x. Let us copy f. Now f inverse of x, we already have that. That is x minus 4. So we have x minus 4. So this will be our x. So we have f of x. But f of x is equal to x plus 4. Now this x here is equivalent to x minus 4. So we will replace this with x minus 4. So x minus 4 and then we copy plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4 will be cancelled out so this will be equal to x. Therefore f of f inverse of x is equal to x. Now let us prove letter C. f inverse of f of x is equal to x for all x in the domain of f. So let us recall our f of x and its inverse. Now we have f inverse of f of x. So let us copy first f inverse and then f of x. Our f of x is equal to x plus 4. So this will be of x plus 4. This time this will be our x. So we have f inverse of x. And f inverse of x is equivalent to x minus 4. But our x here is equal to x plus 4. So we are going to replace this with x plus 4. Then copy minus 4. So plus 4 minus 4 will be cancelled out. So this will be equal to x. Therefore, f inverse of f of x is equal to x. Let's have another example. f of x is equal to 3x. So let's follow the steps. Step 1, replace f of x with y. So y is equal to 3x. And then let us interchange the variables. x is equal to 3y. And then let us solve for y. To solve for y, let us divide both sides by 3. So 3 and 3 here will be cancelled out. So we have y is equal to x over 3. And then we replace y with f inverse of x. So f inverse of x is equal to x over 3. Now let us prove that the inverse of f inverse of x is equal to f of x. So we'll start with replacing our f inverse of x with y. So y is equal to x over 3. 
Then we interchange the variables x is equal to y over 3. And then we solve for y. To solve for y, cross multiplication, x times 3 equals y or y is equal to 3x. But 3x is actually our f of x. So we prove that the inverse of f inverse of x is equal to f of x. Letter B, let us prove that f of f inverse of x is equal to x. So we have f of f inverse of x. Let's copy f. Then f inverse of x, we already have that, and that is equal to x over 3. So this will now be our x, so we have f of x. But what is f of x? f of x is equal to 3 x so this will be equal to 3 and then our x is equivalent to x over 3 so 3 and 3 will be cancelled out so we have f of f inverse of x is equal to x last one letter c f inverse of f of x is equal to x so f inverse of f of x let us copy f inverse our f of x is equal to 3x. So this time this will be our x. So we have f inverse of x. But f inverse of x is equal to x over 3. Our x here is equivalent to 3x. So we are going to replace this with 3x. So 3x over 3. 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. Therefore, f inverse of f of x is equal to x. Here is the summary of what we discussed. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. <music> Here are the answers. Keep on practicing to master the lesson.